headphone jacks. You remember those, right? Say for a couple of remaining foam brands, most notably Sony Xperia, the majority of manufacturers have cut the hardware from their handsets over the last several years, especially on those flagship level devices. And even mid-range phones now are starting to go down this route. This leaves us with very low quality dongles that do absolutely nothing for the audio experience and have pushed many to opting for Bluetooth earbuds and headphones. Now, Bluetooth earbuds and headphones are perfectly fine and have their uses. But what if you wanted to stick with wired audio? What if you had a nice set of in-ear monitors or headphones and you appreciate that high-res audio goodness? Well, periodic audio have the perfect mobile solution for you. This is the Rhodium, a universal USB high-resolution portable DAC. Yes, I'm very good at reading. Thank you very much. Oh, and let me know in the comments uh, what your current mobile audio setup is. I'm interested in hearing from you and, and hit the like button as well if you find any of this useful. So full disclosure, Periodic Audio did send me this out as a kind gesture with no requirements attached other than wanting a little feedback. Very kind of them. And to be honest, I'm, I'm extremely happy that they did. So let's get into it a little bit and talk about why this might just be the piece of kit that you need to level up your audio game. The hardware looks barely any different to a regular USB-C headphone dongle. It's super compact, portable and low power. It's convenient as well as making use of a nice set of multi or dynamic driver IEMs, it can really make use of some pretty decent studio type headphones too. As part of the package, you do get a USB-A to USB-C adapter, which also makes it really good for laptop and PC use. This is the first bit of kit that I've owned that was capable of supporting high-res audio. So naturally I had to find a service that supported great audio as it was something that I'd never needed before. I tried Amazon Music, Apple Music, as they both have a lot of high quality high res tracks available and you can get free trials with these as well for services including Tidal and Cobuzz and that way you can see which is more suitable for your needs. Then there's the final part of the audio equation. I needed some in-ear monitors. I picked up a 20 pound set of KZ ZSM Pro IEMs recommended by my friend Sam. And then more recently I purchased some Echo uh, OH2s which cost just over 70 pounds. I was honestly blown away by how good they sounded, uh, especially the, the OH2s uh, with them being a little bit more neutral sounding. Uh, they both sounded better than my Batbeat Pro 2s from PLT that has Aptex HD enabled and they cost around £100 plus. So yeah, I definitely preferred the, the wired solution and even pair with the Rhodium at, at $50, it's still a better combo overall for me in terms of sound quality. But you'll have to think about convenience next to that quality and reliability as well. So as I said, the Periodic Audio Rhodium DAT will set you back around $50, coupled with a half-decent set of earphones. It's still quite a bit cheaper, and you'll get better audio to boot. A side note, uh, the, this part of the script for this video, I was streaming on my Twitch channel and using the Rhodium in my laptop with my Echo OH2s, and in the middle of the stream, I lost all sound. The laptop wouldn't recognize it, and after, I, after the stream, I unplugged it, and put it into my phone. And that still wouldn't recognize it either. So unfortunately, it did suffer a failure. Which of course can happen to any electrical product out there. And I had, I had used it for a few months by this stage. Now the main thing to focus on when this sort of thing happens with the product is how the company responds. How is their customer service? And I'm happy to say that Periodic Audio had no qualms about sending me out a replacement device. Top job. Now, as I said before, whether you want wireless or wired audio comes down to what you want in regards to convenience, quality, and reliability. Wired audio still seems to be the way to go if you want quality and could do without having to worry about charging things in a world where we pretty much have to charge everything. For me, having so much gear to charge is a big ass chore, so I tend to stay away from Bluetooth headphones. And if you're like me, then the Rhodium is definitely something you should look at purchasing. Periodic Audio also have some great products on their website that would complement said Rhodium. The products I've used will be linked below. Uh, throw yourself into the audio rabbit hole, uh, as quite frankly, I'm down there now myself. And a big thank you to Periodic Audio for that. Uh, and again, for sending this out and starting me on this uh, this wonderful journey. Uh, for extra commentary and more, you can follow me on all the social medias under the same name of Grounded Tech, as always.
Thanks for watching, folks. Stay grounded, and I'll see you on the next one. Always the case when I uh, go to record. In the right Milo. Can I have my seat button? No? Okay. <laughs>